Al-Islam. He's the one who gave this book to the people from God. He says, okay, this is a book that I have received from God. And, he's, yeah. and this Quran is not the speech of Muhammad. This is speech of God, as the Quran says. Because of constraints of time, I'm not going to go into this, but I'm just highlighting a specific chapter or a, or a surah which summarizes the concept of God in Islam. That He is one God, one and only, eternal absolute, independent. What is this argument for, for following Muhammad? Uh, Remember I said, what did He call upon? Did He call to worship Him? Or an idol, or a tree, or the creation. What about Muhammad's way of living? That's my, that, that, that was my point. That was my point. What did he say? What did he do? And how did he live? But how do you, yeah, how do you defend his way of living? Okay, how did he live? He was of the most upright character. Do you disagree with that? Yes. Okay. Give us some examples of why you think he's not the most upright of his character. Because he had sex with the minor. Where do you get that from? No, I know it's false. So where do you get that from? No, it's not true. So let me question you very, very quickly then. When, because, oh, please. please.